So it's beginning. All the seats out, they pop out pretty easy. Gonna slap an excess power battery in the stock spot. Found a nice little area in the back to put the amplifiers. Right here. Right in between the back seats. It'll be nice and convenient because I can work on it on the bench here and just drop the whole thing in place when I'm ready to go. That's the whole object. Keep it simple. But make it sound good too. Two of these should get the job done. Alright, everything's starting to come together and I have a lot of wiring to do and ain't no sense in taking a video every 20-30 seconds. So, this is where the pictures come in. Alright, here's today's progress. Everything's ran. We got a mid and a tweet. A wire ran up in this corner. Because I'm planning on putting a pair of separates up there and a pair of separates up there. So those wires are already ran. These are ran. Uh, Rockford Fosgate 360.3 volume knob, that's ran. The ignition switch, that's ran. I gotta get into that tomorrow. Everything's ran super nice underneath here, tied in with the frame and brought back inside the vehicle really super clean. Got a couple excess power D975s underneath this seat. Little 200 amp fuse just in case a wire shorts. I doubt it will but just for precaution. And I was just going to keep the factory Polaris battery in here and just add on to it with the new excess. But I couldn't have everything mismatched like crazy like that. So I added an excess power D925 on this side and just put it in the factory location, tied all the wires in. So this thing now has three batteries. It's not going to be a monster base machine, but just in case I want to play with it with the car off, sorry with the vehicle off, I don't have to worry too much about it. Of course, Rockford Fosgate 360.3, Rockford Fosgate T500.1, and a Rockford Fosgate T400.4. Upcoming videos, I'm going to show a box being built. I'm thinking two Rockford Fosgate 10 inch woofers in a bandpass box, and I'm going to port it right underneath that bar just so I can get some bass going forward. Should sound pretty good and actually I'm gonna build it in such a way that the bed's gonna be taken up but I'm gonna raise it up some and make it to where I still have a little bit of the bed left when it's done. I hope. And the dash, eventually I'm gonna have a tablet mounted in the dash and a couple SMD meters and then this thing will be done. The sweet part about having all these wires already done 
is that I'm ready to ride. I can ride out, I can have my phone in my pocket, the 360 is wired up, all it needs to do is see a signal, and uh, I'm ready to play. Uh, I could probably slap like a couple mids and highs right on those little wires over in the corner, just so I can have some sounds until I build the kick panels, but all the hard work is done. Well, not all the hard work, but I got even more hard work to go, but at least the tedious wiring and all that stuff is all done. Basically, I set myself up, and as soon as I'm done building the box and the kick pods, it's going to be already be done. I'm not going to have to mess with anything else. So watch for the next videos. See how it comes out. Hopefully it'll come out pretty good. It's my first ATV. And uh, so far I'm liking it.